Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, channel and to the this unboxing video of the Austin K2Y uh, ambulance in 135th scale from Airfix. So, um, so let's have a look and see what we get for our money. Okay. Right, so here we have our here we have our box art, okay. And I have to say it's absolute this the you know, box the artwork on the box is absolutely top notch. Um I'm loving this, okay. You've got special features that include the photo H parts and interior detail. The code uh, for this is A1375, which is a bit of a short code for Airfix. Okay, so um, you've got your different warnings in different languages. Now, if we have a look here, it, it says that it's... Um, I'm having to stand up and read this upside down. So, um, model design and tooling copyright 2022. Um, decal schemes and pack design copyright 2022. And manu um, all rights reserved made in Korea. Okay, so <coughs> that uh, tells me that this is not really an FX manufactured kit. I think this is what is. Um, I think what uh, um, I think what FX have done is that they've outsourced it to um, Academy Models, and they've made it. And uh, Academy of um, done up the tooling. They've passed. Uh, um, they've passed back that tooling back to Airfix. So that is now Airfix's tooling, and um, so and all Airfix have done is they've researched the kit and out, and outsourced the design. Okay, so so that's what's happened here. On here, you've got you've got your uh, color schemes. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four color schemes. You've got your paints here um as well uh which are not included in the box okay you got it's a skill level three and you got three flying arrows as well right now normally with airfix kits you get the normal you get the normal security tab plastic security tabs but you don't get them with this one okay so let's so let's see what's um inside the box shall we okay we've opened up the so we've opened up the box we've got our clear parts our decals and our photo etch there so I have to let's get this up and running so close there you go look at that i mean i'd say that the decals are really gorgeous banging even yeah so there we go really really great okay and that's our um those are our photo edge okay so we got two bags there. We got and we yeah, and we got one, two, two bags of sprues, and our instructions. Okay. So as we normally do, we'll we'll have a look at the instructions first. So we've got our um, instruction booklet here. 
you've got the different um, bits uh, bits of information in different languages so you've got English, French, German, Spanish and Swedish okay and you've got your normal assembly icon instructions and um, um, you've also got for, you've got your for best results um, surfaces to be washed in warm soapy water which is something I, I always do and some um, parts in the kit may not be required for building a model specified okay so that's a, an extra note there right here right so again you've got more bits of assembly instructions in 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 different languages here's something that here's, that fx don't normally do either you've got a sprue map okay so you've got a sprue map okay you've got one two three four sprues four sprues and one pack of photo edge okay so you've got sprue a sprue b sprue d and sprue e no sprue c um you um you may have noticed okay so i'd like to see more of this fx okay because i think it will help okay so in step one you've got you, you're going to do you're going to get your chassis all put together um so we'll so we're going to be doing that and also going to be doing it in step two as well you're going to be putting on your um you're going to be putting on your um uh suspension and um engine thing there as well so you're going to be doing that and Again, you're going to be working on your. Uh, again, you're still working on the uh, chassis as well. And getting on your small um, extra part, um, other little parts there for your uh, for the chassis. You've got your prop. Sh you got your prop shaft there. You got your ax. Uh, you got your um, uh, front and rear axles. <coughs> In this one, you've got your exhaust uh, pipe. Um, and again. And again, you've got your suspension as well, so you've got that one there. Here in step five, you're putting on your wheels. Um, okay, and also in step six, you've got your um, petrol, your, you've got your fuel tanks uh, there as well. Okay, so fuel ta uh, fuel tank on. On step six, right. Step seven, right. So we're going to be heading into step seven. You're going to be heading into um in, into the back of the um. You're going to be heading into the back of the vehicle. Okay, this is where the st uh, stress is going. And also, you notice that it also tells you what paints to use. Okay, this is this is obviously not Airfix's um uh it's obviously you still get your paint paints but it's it's just done a bit differently, that's all. Um okay, so in step eight you put it on your bulkhead uh as well and in step six you're putting your stretches there together you're putting all the uh, parts together that, that go on the ins inside of the back where the where the stretches all go so okay so so and also 
this is also numbered these parts of here are also numbered uh, okay so you've got to do it in numerical order so you're working your way down the page okay and and it's the same with this bit here with it with this here so it's important to, uh, to note that okay so here we go again I want to put step 10 Again, you uh, you put you're working on your cab here, and again you've got your paints as well, and it also tells you uh, um, what paints. It also tells you what paints to use it uh, for, what scheme you're gonna, or for what color scheme you're going to be doing. Okay, and we'll come to the color schemes in a moment. Okay, so. Uh, anyway, step that's step ten. This step eleven is all to do with putting on the roof of the cab and uh, putting on the front as well. Uh, the windscreen. Uh, so there you go. And in step twelve, you're putting the roof on of the back, and you you're also putting in um, putting on the back doors. Okay, and it's also giving you the option of whether you want them either opened or closed. I think I might have them opened. Okay, now this is on the back. We're back under the chassis, but you've got to go and tip it upside down and put these boxes in. Okay, so you've got all the instructions here on how to on how to do it and. And that, obviously that one goes underneath as well. That one goes underneath as well. And once again, you're doing whatever paints. Um, so if you're doing scheme A and D, you need you need to use number two five three. Okay. And if you're doing schemes B and C, you're going to want to use the, the number seventy four. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so there we go, on to step 14. This is going to be, um, so this is where, where you put the whole of the body onto the chassis. Okay. So you put, so, there you go. You're putting the whole, you're putting the body onto the chassis. Here you're putting up the putting up the mud, mud guards, uh, doing the mud guards. Okay. And using uh, putting the mud guards together and then putting them onto the chassis. Okay. So so there we go. In step sixteen. You've got a choice. You can either you put in the of what kind of step uh, regarding the back step you've got a choice of whether if you want the if you want the folded step to go on or whether if you want to put um put it um if you're put, putting a as um a straightened step as well if you see what i mean yeah here um you're here in step step 17 you're you're putting on the um bonnets the radiator and the grill okay and once again it tells you to go in numerical order okay um i don't see there any points in that going in <laughs> but um because it's it's not going to get seen and from what i've seen on seen on youtube with different uh, video reviews that the grill is not see-through okay so so basically there's no point in painting that okay and so last but not least the this is step 18 
these are the putting the putting on the side, side bits of the cab anyway so um you got your canvas there um so you're using a step step uh so paint number one five nine and this is your photo edge part okay so you put you're putting your photo edge part in and okay so so you're putting your photo edge part there on the uh on the driver's side front wing so i think uh, from uh recording to that and here you're putting your um, clear pots uh clear pots on for the, uh, for the lights as well also you're putting your ball but you're putting your ball bar on <laughs> okay so uh um, <clears throat> so there you go right I'll be back in a bit okay um, right we're on to the colour schemes now so this is colour scheme A and it's for 30 core motor ambulance convoy Royal Army uh, service corps North West Europe in 1944 so that's scheme A right Scheme B, right. Okay, you um uh Austin Austin K2Y ambulance <coughs> British Army North Africa nineteen forty. Okay. Right. Austin K Scheme C British Army Alexandria Egypt nineteen forty two. This is the um uh, ice cold in Alex. Um, <coughs> um, color scheme and last but not least um, the auxiliary territorial service England 1944 and this is the, the one that, that was uh, photographed with our late um, late Queen Elizabeth II or Princess Elizabeth, I'm sure she was back then. So, uh, there you go. Right, here's another thing that is um, not airfix. Um, it's the bag. Okay, this is cellophane. Okay, and airfix normally use polythene. Okay, so. We'll get our so we'll open up our bag of Need to get that. Need to get that. Absolutely spot on. Oh no! Oh, oh. Right. Right, let's have a look at sprue A. Now, this is again, this is something uh, that you don't associate with Airfix. See that that identifies this frame as frame A. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, that is that's much better. I'd have to say that that is much much better. Okay, because um, because when because with Airfix, you, you've got a little thin strip of plastic with um, in, with the fr with frame A imprinted on it. This is a whole lot better, okay? Because it looks as if that frame you've got the big letter A there that's all punched through. 
I don't like that. So you got so you got your um so you got your um you got your bottom part so you got one part of the chassis there, you've got your back doors, you got your steps there. Um don't know what what Don't know what this part is, but uh, I'm sure I'll find out. You've also got you've also got your roof here. You've got your your floor. Um, you got, yeah, that, that's all to do with the roof anyway. Um, so there you go. You got you got your sides of the uh, front front doors there. Uh, you got the box there that look, looks as if that might go. Uh, that looks as if it goes underneath the chassis. You got uh, your back there for your back doors, and this is. I have to say that this is very, very well molded. Um, no flash at all, but I mean for. Pretty much a recent tooling. Can't go wrong. Okay, I would say that's pretty banging. Bang on. So there we go. That's frame A. Frame B. Here you've got the bulkheads. You've got the front. <clears throat> you've got the front end and you've got the shelving for you for the stretches to go on you've got your stretches here okay and you've got bits and pieces there that go in uh, other bits and pieces that go uh, that go on the sides there okay so you've also got your, the sides of the uh, of, of the of the back box as well and uh, you've also got these bits here as well so so if I just lift that up so There you go. So there we go. That is frame B. Right, let's have a look at frame D. There we go. Right. Now you've got to take note that there's one loose part there. So once we, once that has been washed, I'll put that into my um, um, into my bag for small. Uh, parts for safekeeping okay so um, just so I don't know where it is right here we've got the the wheels now judging by the um, I'll just get the I'll just get We've done the G cars anyway, so we don't need those anyway. Okay. Right, so there we go. Right. And I'm, I'll, I'm using the box as reference here for the... All right, so for the wheels. Okay, the, the spiky ones go towards the front, and the stubby ones go, go at the back. Okay. And they obviously go with 
the wheels at the, um so they obviously do one two one two one two and one two and same for the spare wheel as well okay which goes in the cab here's the here's the grill okay and obviously as i said it's not see-through i'm just looking for the way there we go. there's the radiator okay there's no point in, as i say there's no point in painting that because it's not going to get seen so you've got a steering wheel here as well and you've got your put you've got your uh you've also got you've got your different uh bits and pieces of uh, your steering steering rod um and I'm not sure what those are but we'll but we'll find out okay you got your gear stick there you've got your exhaust pipe as well you've got your pedals as well they, um, and so on and so forth and you've also got your uh, um, supports for the chassis there as well okay and also you've got your mud guards here as well uh, and so on and so forth and plus other uh, bits and pieces and these are the for, are for the I guess these bits here are all for the fuel tank. Uh, for the fuel tanks. I guess I'm just guessing. So. Okay, so there we go. Let you have a quick look at those. Pretty. If I just turn that a bit around. There we go. Right. So that's frame D. <coughs> and last but not least, for the clear parts. <coughs> And I just have to say, oh, tell you what, oh, these are these are absolutely banging. I mean, they're crystal clear. They they are good and proper. So. Well done. These are top. These are top quality clear parts. I'm. These these are banging. Okay. Loving it. Right. Okay. Put those back in. Right. And there we go, guys. Okay, guys, so these are the paints that you're going to be wanting to use, okay? So you've got the number 85 there from um, 85 there, satin black. Number 62, which is the um, leather, uh, leather mat. The number 74, if you're going to be doing the... Um, um, ice cold in Alex one. The um, on ball number one ten, which is natural wood. The number number one five three, which is uh, 
I think that's the um, no, so the one five nine. That's the, uh, okay. Um, I'll, I'm just going to refer to the instructions. I mean, one five nine. Which one has that one? That's the Matt Khaki Drab. The number sixty, which is the scarlet red. Two two four. Okay, which is Matt Dark Slate Grey. This is that one. The thirty three Matt Black. Okay. Two five three, which is um, Matt Dunkelgrün, which is the uh, which is dark green, basically. The number one oh eight, I think. I think it's one oh eight. It's the cream mass anyway, so it's that one there, right? And you've also got your number seventy-two khaki, uh, um, car khaki drill, which is that one. Your number ninety, which is your bay, um, which is your beige, um. Yeah, which is the matte beige green. And uh, last but not least, your number 180 brown matte. Okay, so that's that one there. And those are the paints that you're gonna gonna need, uh, depending on what color scheme you're gonna do, really. So I'll just put those in there. And that is it, guys, okay. Okay, guys, well, that is it for this unboxing uh, video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to building building it. Okay, so you can join me on Sunday for part one of, of the build. And we're going to be focusing on at least getting... Um, at least getting... The first two steps, maybe steps three and four as well. So, okay, so, so yeah, that's uh, the first, um, so that's the plan. Okay, so at least get steps one and two done, but I'll try and get maybe get three and four done as w as well um but we'll see how time goes um so in the meantime guys um thanks a lot for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up why don't you and uh um comments as well and the um like yeah um yeah comments and also share the video that's what i meant to say share the video okay um because that all helps to uh, grow the channel. Okay, so in the meantime, guys, thanks a lot, and I'll see you on Sunday for part one.